It's really weird to have a rapper explain morality to me. That much of the conversation. <laughs> what? what just happened? To be clear to everyone, I do like rappers. One of my favorite rappers of all time is the <laughs> like uh, Killer Mike and uh, Propaganda. He's trying to do music, and this is the situation happened when I let him go to the studio. He didn't have a ride home from the studio. He yeah. gets called with somebody else, and all of this happened. All right, so, Mom, I've got to ask, when you say music, like rapper? Yes, rap and sing. I mean, Mom, you and I are not surprised if your son is rapping and gets caught in a stolen car with a gun and goes in a car chase, right? I mean, that's, uh, yeah, we, yeah. Kinda, we, we can kind of predict that's going to happen. <laughs> what? Just because he do rap music? Well, the culture, right? I mean, it shouldn't surprise you. Wait, let's put it this way: Is this a judge? If he's church singing in a church choir, are you? Do you think it's a realistic ending for him to be caught in a stolen car with a gun on a car chase from the police? This has to be a fucking skit. Okay, but wouldn't you want to ask him what kind of rap music he's doing before you classify him as a rapper that's rapping about guns and violence? I didn't say what he's rapping about. But he just said that just because he's doing rap music, he's known to get caught. Can we agree that the rap culture has an element of violence to it that the church choir does not? I mean, it depends on there's rappers who rap gospel. I guess it depends. I guess it depends on the church too, right? <laughs> yeah, it depends on the person, period. So does your son rap gospel? I haven't heard my son rap. It's something that he's doing or he's trying to get into doing. Christopher is on YouTube every day trying to feel out, figure out something to better his life. Like I say, he goes to Khan Academy trying to catch up and finish school early. Can he goes Khan to Academy? work every day. He watches his Not little brother and he helps his big brother stay out of trouble. Mm -hmm. So other than that, I don't believe the gun was Christopher. Christopher probably got the gun to stop somebody else from getting in trouble. But Christopher is a great son. I have no problems out of him. And I have no reason. I mean, I, have, I don't understand this. Yeah. Yeah. Every time he have got in trouble, it's because the company he have, he have killed. But I have moved my kids away from Christopher, hold on, Mom. Christopher, you hear what she just said? Yes, sir. Every time you get in trouble, it's the company you're with. Yes, sir. And I believe your mom. I 100% believe your mom. Recently, two weeks ago, I have moved my kids out of the environment so they wouldn't be around. Yo, I just, what is, I want to see the Reddit account. What, this is, what a crazy, what a crazy series of things to say. What? What? He was doing rap music. It sounds like a Kanye West skit. Well, if your son was doing rap music, you know he's a criminal. He wouldn't be doing that if he was in the church choir. Are you, oh, it's, I wonder if this counts public domain. That's just like such a perfect opening to like a fucking, like, like an, a perfect opening skit to like some fucking album. Like, I, it's so on its face bizarre. That Judge 100% where we sample for rap song. Yeah, it's, it's just like, it's such a perfect, it's such a perfect quote. Like, it's just so unbelievably stupid. You think it's okay to be racist if it's part of your culture? Well, I guess that depends on who you ask these days, but I mean, I would say no. It's probably never okay to be racist. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Done. What career? But I'm not a rapper. What career? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's really weird to have a rapper explain morality to me, but... I- but I do f think that... that much of the conversation... What? what just happened? ...has been going... <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> Pog. Okay. Uh, it's just funny to see. Do rappers uh, not have Mr. morals? Pinnick. Who's it? No. What do you, what do you, that's what not the point. The point. Okay, can I, can I so who's a rapper? First the of point. all, first of all, anonymous gifter. Thank you for gifting ten high tier one gifts Press to the Pinnick. channel. Uh, it's really, uh, really kind of you. Um, whoever you are, uh, thank you for investing. Who is a, a, a fanatic? Are you a rapper? Uh, no. no. Yeah, I, I, just, I just make hot beats and I make hot music that you can yes, find uh, on Spotify <laughs> under the artist name Fanatic, F-A-N-A-T-I-Q, it's spelled with a Q. You can find all of my songs. My latest album was with Soundscape. Destiny played one of my good songs today. Um, 
he was a church choir singer, he would have the ultimate authority to talk morality. True! As long as he's not doing that gangster church choir stuff, right? Finally worked. Uh, yeah, hey, Fnatic. Hey, what's up? Uh-oh. Yeah, uh, it's, a uh, just, I, I want to just try to be quick so that, uh, because I understand you're kind of busy. Sure. So, uh, yeah, it's, I, after thinking about it and someone letting me know about the comment I made about the, the rapper stuff, that was a bit uncalled for. Yeah. A bit, huh? What, yeah. made, what made you say that? I, I had the assumption that you were a, a rapper. rapper. I did not know that. Oh, so the apology isn't that the the comment was stupid. The apology is he thought he was a rapper. <laughs> that's the, that's the comment. That you were not. Okay. Why why did you why did you why would you assume that? I I can't I I I've, I've by assumption of the majority of African American people are into rap. It's probably <laughs> a, a, a unconscious bias or. <laughs> I would admit to. For sure. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, it's okay, buddy. Like, <laughs> I, I just think... Um, what is this guy? So there's like a... I don't know. There's nothing to get into. Hey, I appreciate you for recognizing that it's inappropriate. Like, to yeah, I, I, like, and that's I want to tell the chat. That's I want to tell the chat. It's like, I know... I know you're gonna freaking clip me out of context, but I'm. I want to be clear and honest in public in front of everyone that I'm. I'm. I owe up to my mistakes. So. Yeah. I, it's okay. Oh, I need the perennial ore. I, I don't want to make. Uh, it's this man. Um. Freak. So like that whole thing that I talked about. No, nah, man. It's okay. Look. Hey. <laughs> I appreciate you for saying. He doesn't even know what the to say. I don't know what the fuck I would say to somebody like this. I'm gonna try my best to move past it. I would try my best not to hold that against you in any way, capacity, or whatever. I hope that I can forget it as quickly as I as as, as I heard it. Um, okay. Um, I appreciate you for taking the time to actually yeah. apologize yeah. for it and own up that that was yeah. probably I, not something good to do. Okay. And I do and uh, I do treat you decently. It's just it's so funny what he's apologizing for because he's not apologizing for implying that if you do rap, you can't know anything about morality. The apology is just for assuming that. He does rap since he's black. It's like, this is, this is just so funny on so many different levels. So there's like so many, <laughs> it's such a stupid, f there's so many stupid things about that comment. It's like, I'm sorry. I just, I assumed you do. I mean, <laughs> you're black and you do music. Like, come on, obviously you're a rapper, right? Like, it's just. To be clear, Fanatic, I do have a lot of decent respect. Even though I'm friends with many people, including for rappers, don't uh, say it. What's Vivian, he gonna say? Oh no! I do. Um, oh no! Uh, just give me. A uh, yeah. Uh, even Vivian, I do. I don't really. I get where you're coming from about your issues on many other ones, including homosexuality and all of that. And to me, I would still rather work with whomever. In a in a big Ted approach, and at least who, even if I disagree with you, then to throwing people away just because of a very big disagreement, okay. of like that. Right. Yeah, and uh, and still, uh, and and to be clear to everyone, I do like rappers. One of my favorite rappers of all time is the <laughs> like uh, Killer Mike, and uh, Propaganda is also another one I really love. So, but, uh, <laughs> morality. I know I'm not, oh God, the chat's being weird, but chat's being weird. But, uh, thank you for hearing We're going to clip them out. out of context, guys. And, uh, okay. uh that's glorify, forward, right? Uh, yeah, I'll be watching the stream for maybe an hour or so, but, uh, yeah, uh, keep on going and I will be aware of the stuff I'll see in the future. All right. All good, man. Okay. All right. What a wild ride that was. Play Let's play some music. You think you play some rap music? <laughs> oh my god. This is what people think I am. They compare me to this guy, okay? Who are you typing to right now? Um, Fnatic. Oh I mean, yeah? What um, are you saying? Um, I said I didn't know you were a rapper. There was a, um, so he was in a, there was a debate panel thing earlier, I guess. 
and one of, there was some white guy in there and he was like, I just think it's funny that a rapper is trying to lecture me about morals, <laughs> which is a really funny thing to say. But then he goes on Fanatic's stream later to apologize. And he's like, I want to apologize for what I said. It was really dumb. And I thought what he was going to say is it's stupid to assume that like, just because of somebody's music, you know, they don't have morals or whatever. But instead he said, I just assumed you were a rapper because you were black and you do music. <laughs> oh, that's, that is much worse. <laughs> I, that's just that was very, very, very funny. Jesus. How are you now and then, Dan? People got people got them good ones. The power of the word. Yeah. And instead of taking it from a Bro, negative they standpoint, it. they take it from a positive one, and that's what they call their friends or their, you know, whoever they want to call. Because yeah, they can. Cool. Why this is my thing? Use it even if they're not using it demeaning manner, and even if someone's oh in a black You girl. can't Bro, use it because you find the source of the problem. You can't target it with the words. Hold on, hold on. Hey guys, guys, Destiny. Hold on, stop, stop. Listen up, listen up. Wes, Wes, Wes. Wes, Bro. go ahead, Destiny, please. Okay, there, there's so much dumb shit being said. There are two different reasons why we probably shouldn't say words like this, okay? The first thing is that you are basically drawing an equivalence between a certain category of people and something that is bad, right? So Thank this is you. the problem with Destiny, calling- Destiny, you're going too philosophical for me. Please no, 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 shut the fuck up. No, this is really simple because I can explain things so normal people understand it, believe it or not. You can explain things without using oh, any other words, okay? Oh, so when I say oh, no. this thing is gay, right? Everybody understands what I mean by that. They mean that's a bad thing. Well, well how does that work? Why is, it, why is calling something gay why does that mean it's bad? Because your association with gay or homosexuality is that it's a bad thing. So that's a gay thing, right? It's the same thing with calling yourself autistic or retarded. Like, what, what do these mean? Intrinsically, these are horrible things. So there's two different things going on here. One, you're constantly reinforcing this idea that if you're autistic you or retarded, you're like a bad thing or less than, than whatever the normal is. And two, if there are people that are listening that might be sure. autistic or retarded, they're kind of caught in the crossfire there. Where it's like, oh shit, well, like, I guess if I'm autistic or I'm, you know, I have Down syndrome or I have some other form of mental disability, like I'm literally just like a a shit person or whatever because these are just common right, right. words that are used as insults what what did i just say that didn't make sense no keep going no, keep going I'm, I'm working something oh, out okay. you keep talking sure okay other other random dumb things okay so firstly words change over time this is inarguable okay words are a contract that we all kind of make amongst each other's we all agree on what these words mean and that's how it works we don't we're not born with dictionaries in our head this idea that the imbecile and moron or whatever, we don't look up the historical definition of a word to decide how it's applied in common parlance. If that was true, we wouldn't talk about armies being decimated because decimation means to reduce something by 10%. It doesn't make any yeah, sense, exactly, right? Yeah. Or we wouldn't say literally or figuratively to mean, um, you know, what they do today, which is even in the dictionary, the, the words are literally swapped. When and, somebody and that's says, my, like, and that's my is, point about- No, 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 wait, 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 wait. 